uh, 12.3 million viewers. Um, even though these might be some toxic conversations, I, I think it's I think it's clear uh, who's running the show right now. <laughs> in, in the world of sports most watch we knew it was gonna challenge the national championship game We knew it was gonna challenge that but some of the some of the stats around This game uh, It outdrew check this out 12.3 million viewers. I'm sure you already know this most watched women's college basketball game ever um, Outdrew every 2023 college football game outside of the football playoff Ohio State wow. Michigan and the SEC title game uh, wow. ESPN's second largest audience for any basketball game, men or women, since 2012. Um, I mean, just ridiculous, ridiculous figures across the board. Um, oh, more than every NBA game last season outside of Game Five of the Finals, and every Major League Baseball game last season, and all but five of college football's matchups, as I mentioned. I, and I don't think that's just Caitlin Clark. I mean, obviously, no, women's basketball in, in, in that game. It was that game was Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, Kim Mulkey, the rivalry to rematch. But generally speaking, this game's in a good place and, and, and the star power is going to carry it beyond Caitlin Clark's departure to the WNBA. Natalie, you want one last word on just what we witnessed on Monday night before we go? Yeah, I just actually think that with the ratings, I expected the ratings to be great for that game. So um, it's a huge win for women's basketball, but I'm actually um, more impressed with the 6.7 million that also stayed back to watch UConn and USC because mm -hmm. that would have actually been a high before these recent records that just break, that would have been a high. And that's um, also the other games, South Carolina, who was facing an opponent, maybe who, you know, in Colorado State that people weren't as excited about, still did like mm -hmm. over 3 million on ABC. And so um, all of the ratings have been really great for women's basketball. And it's showing that it's not only about one single player, it's about multiple players. And of course, obviously everyone wants like the big number, the 12 number, but, being in the later time slot on cable TV and to still pull 6.7 million. And that shows you that people are tapped in, they're dialed in, and we should invest more and continue to um, um, talk about women's basketball and promote it and highlight it. Oh, I love that. That's 12. Point, I love that. That 12.3 you know, might be temporary, Michael. That's, I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's going up. I mean, that, that national championship game, about, <laughs> the South Carolina. It's, yeah. it's really. It's really it's the nexus of so many. I was going to say culmination, but the culmination suggests an ending. I, I'm just to say it's the nexus of so many great things happening in women's college basketball. You think about identifiable characters on the court and off the court. So Kim Mulkey, lover or hater, Kim Mulkey is a part of that mix. Don Staley is a part of that mix. Gino Ariema is a part of that mix. Look at the players: Paige Beckers, you got Juju, you got Caitlin Clark, you got Angel Reese, and. You've got players. You've got you actually have some parity to a degree in college basketball where I don't know South Carolina is undefeated, but if South Carolina plays Iowa in the national championship, I don't know. South Carolina uh, is and, and they're page, undefeated, but they're not. Yeah, they're not blowing away everybody. They've had a couple of close calls this year uh, in the tournament and in the SEC tournament where they could have gone down. And here's the other good thing. And, 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 I don't, and don't don't take this the wrong way. Because we would never, no one here would ever celebrate somebody being fired. But you think about the standard in college basketball now. Tennessee used to be the program before before UConn took over. So Tennessee, I think, was after Louisiana Tech. It was Louisiana Tech, then Tennessee, then UConn. And so, uh, you know, Pat Summit uh, passed about eight years ago. And, at, and after Pat Summit, they're now going to be on their third coach post Pat Summit and the reason they're on their third coach now is because they the standard is not good enough for them. They want to be in this conversation and Tennessee is now like a sweet 16 kind of team, but they're mm. not a national championship contender. So the coach they just moved on from had a fantastic record and went to the NCAA's yeah. four times and is a former uh, volunteer, but not good enough. I think it's bad for her, and I don't want to celebrate her losing her job, but it's good for women's basketball it, it that shows. Yeah. these programs are saying, oh, no, no, we want right. to be up there. We want to be in that conversation. Right. Op I just want to it's, now, yeah. it's now South Carolina, so we've moved from UConn to now it being about South Carolina. Absolutely. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, no, no, I mean, listen, um, whatever matchup so we get. doesn't really seem I to think... be getting the praise they deserve for being an undefeated team, um, being the team that's gone to the last four Final Fours, um, losing three games in the total of the last three years. I just, there's just not enough talk about Dawn Staley in South Carolina. There seems to be this presumption but, that, but you know, we're that... just focusing on the other teams but to be fair, and stars. I, I know we ain't got time. Whoever they put... but, but to be yeah. fair, but to be fair, you get mm -hmm. that you get that constant stream of, of conversation and praise when you stack up multiples. When you start, I mean, I'm talking about like five, two, but like two, two, Tennessee. Two. But no, no, two, but two. Think about, think about how many did Pat Summon have? How many does Geno have? And I'm I ride for Don Staley. I love Don Staley, but you get that praise in women's basketball when you when you're a dynasty. Is is South Carolina? Did he win it last year? LSU no, they won didn't. it. They, they were still LSU. in the title game. They were still in the title game. Yeah, but yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, I don't. I don't, give, I don't. That didn't give you. I don't the, think it's just about that. But conversation for another day. I think the that if program a different coach in, was in doing that, basketball. they'd be getting the praise. They're the preeminent program in women's college basketball, and whoever they play in the national title game, no disrespect to NC State, uh, whoever they play in the national title game, I just. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it will eclipse 12.3 uh, million. Mm. I, it may not have the same tension as LSU Iowa did with, with Angel and, and, and Caitlin, of course, but I think whether it's Paige or if Caitlin it's versus Clark, Clark, I think it will. If it's Caitlin, South yeah. Carolina, Iowa is going to be even if, even, if it's, even if it's UConn, I think it, it, may, it may not eclipse it, but it'll, it'll, it'll be a lot of eyeballs if it's Geno versus Dawn okay. and, and Paige. Absolutely. Versus, it absolutely will. South Carolina. Carolina. South Carolina, hey. Iowa's gonna give us 15 million. We get 15, 15, that's a good, 15. That's, that's a good number. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.